the topic of death is often taboo when it shouldn't be. There are many ways to prepare for end-of-life care and decisions, and there are people who can help you. Ingrid Ng is starting her career as a death doula in Guelph. She focuses on the emotional needs of people facing death. So I consider myself kind of a dying coach. So somebody who assists someone at the end of life. Um, and it's more about providing emotional assistance and just being, being a calm presence in that time. Um, so I think that families and, and people who are dying get a lot of medical support, but not a lot of emotional support. And I think that that's a gap that I really want to fill. Avril Smith recently lost her mother who chose to live the end of her life in hospice care. She has learned a lot from her experiences. I'm not shy necessarily about sharing my grief either. I don't think it's, if this is not a time to cry, I don't know when is, right? So grief is normal, grief is natural. It's a difficult process and if I need help, I am more able to reach out for it now and share that grief with other people. And I've also found the people to share it with. You should always discuss end of life wishes with your family and friends. Create a safe place to grieve and keep pushing on. For Spoke Online, I'm Joy Struthers.